Hi everyone, my name is Markus Arstedt. I'm a professor of marketing at the University of Magdeburg in Germany. Together with two colleagues of mine, Joe Herr from Kennesaw State University and Christian Ringler from Hamburg University of Technology, uh, I'll be hosting a pre-conference workshop on partially squares structure equation modeling at the next AMS conference in Monterey. Uh, so why should you consider attending this pre-conference workshop? Um, well, from my perspective, structure equation modeling is probably one of the most influential and also most important statistical developments that occurred in the last couple of years in the social science disciplines. Um, for many researchers, though, carrying out structure equation modeling analysis is still equivalent to running covariance-based structure equation modeling, or CBSEM, using programs such as AMOS, Lisserl, or M+. However, there is another unique and very important alternative to CBSEM, namely partially square structure equation modeling, referred to as PLS-SEM. Well, PLS-SEM is somewhat less popular than CBSEM, uh, but in the last couple of years, we've really seen a surge in new uh, studies appearing using this method. Yeah, if you only look at the marketing field, for example, you'll find about 100 studies um, using PLS-SEM that appeared in the top-tier marketing journals in the last couple of years. Well, the potential reason for that is that PLS-SEM offers you uh, with much flexibility uh, when carrying out causal modeling. For example, PLS-SEM readily incorporates uh, formative measures, yeah, which have uh, gained increasing prominence in the social science disciplines in the last couple of years. Um, PLS-SEM also handles very complex models, um, estimates these models when you have only very few observations at hand. Yeah. Uh, the data can also be very like, highly skewed, that is, not normally distributed. Um, so, as you can see, um, PLS-SEM offers you with quite some flexibility in handling data situations which commonly occur in empirical research. So in this pre-conference workshop, we're going to give you um, an in-depth introduction into PLS-SEM. We're going to be talking about the statistical uh, concepts that underlie this approach. We're also going to be talking about uh, modeling concepts, such as formative and reflective uh, measures, single item indicators, or higher order models. We're going to teach you how to evaluate PLS-SEM results and we're also going to give you a bit of an overview of uh, complementary statistical analysis techniques that have been developed in the last couple of years, such as um, approaches to capturing unobserved heterogeneity in the causal models. In addition, we're going to be um, giving you an in-depth introduction into uh, the Smart PLS software. Uh, Smart PLS is uh, free of charge. It's probably one of the most uh, important and uh, definitely the most popular software that's out there to carrying out PLS SEM analysis. So I hope I made you a bit curious uh, on uh, our workshop. Um, it would be great to meet you at Monterey, uh, so please register for our workshop. If you've got any questions, um, just contact either of us. So see you in Monterey. Bye-bye.